Welcome back to another episode of Tyler's Trail Rides. Today, we're going to be swapping the controller on the Fly E-Bike RZ. The current controller is only outputting 6,000 watts at 72 volts. So we are going to be swapping it to a different, more powerful controller. And this right here is our new controller. This is a far driver controller. The exact model number is a ND96850. Opening up the box, we can take our first look at this absolute monster of a controller. To give you an idea of the size of this thing, I don't know if the video is doing justice to the size of this controller, but it is massive. This is it sitting up next to a 17 inch wheel. It weighs a ton and this should do us a lot of wonders when we're putting it in this bike. This controller can do 96 volts, 450 amp, and then it peaks at 850 amps. So we're gonna get this thing installed under the gas, gas tank and uh, yeah. Let's start taking apart the bike. Well, unfortunately for me, looks like I'm gonna have to take off the other side of the bike because the seat bracket goes through here and the tank is mounted under this and it is also mounted to this top cowl piece right here. So I have to take this apart on the other side as well. So I'm gonna flip the bike around to the other side. We'll get started on that. The parts you saw falling off right there was the inside of this mounting point. This happened on the other side too, so I just think it's going to be like that. Um, just to make my life easier later, I'm writing on the inside of these which side and the opposite order that they need to go back together. So there's four parts. This is the last one that needs to go on, and this is the left side. So I labeled it L4.
someone else were on the inside of this thing. Here we have the bike fully stripped down. As you can see, the frame's actually quite beefy on this bike and the welds actually look quite good. I don't see anywhere that's not fully welded. Everything's got nice beads all the way around connecting everything, which can't be said for all Chinese bikes. I don't see anything that concerns me. We got like reinforcement gussets here. We got I don't know, it just looks like a proper motorcycle frame. And right here, we have the stock controller here. I will do a little research to see what's up with this thing, but for now, we don't really need to worry about it. We have the stock circuit breaker here, slash fuse, so that's good. The very first thing I'm gonna do is unplug the battery before I start touching anything electrical. Not gonna take it fully out of there because it's a little bit of work to do that. So we're just gonna reach through here, unplug that and this. So we got nothing connected. Next, we're gonna unplug this, which is the main wiring harness loom. And we're gonna unplug this, which is the hall sensor. There's just a tab here. You get to press down and then pull hard. So these three wires here are for the motor and these come from the battery. So we are going to take this controller fully off. Step one is going to be to remove this little cover here so we can remove the wires from the controller. Now we need to disconnect the motor wires from the controller. We will be replacing this motor at some point with a higher power one to be able to match the controller output that we have. But for now we're gonna be staying with the stock motor and seeing how much power we can pull out of that. So I'm gonna disconnect these and I highly recommend just putting these bolts back in directly afterwards so you don't lose them because maybe we will repurpose this controller later on. If you ever can't get things unstuck, these are actually made hexagon shapes, so you can use a wrench to get extra leverage. enjoying this build remember to like comment and subscribe in next week video we're going to be working on a mounting bracket to mount this to this section of the bike as the holes don't currently line up at the moment and then we're going to get this all wired up and get the bike running on the new controller i should be documenting how to program it as well or at least learning how to, hopefully, fingers crossed. Anyways, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. I know.